uh, we're going to talk a little bit about species, some of the species that we grow here at Big John Layton's Christmas Tree Farm. This particular one here is, uh, well, it's, 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 not a tr it's not a true fir, but it's called Douglas fir, but it has a different aroma. When I pull the branches off like this and smell it, it actually smells like a citrus fruit. So when you uh, go to a farm, do that. Pull out, test it. You want to know what the tree is going to smell like. And every one of these trees, with the exception of the pines, the pines don't smell very much. They don't have much of an, ar an aroma. But the spruces and the uh, firs all have a distinctive flavor. Uh, flavor. They all have a distinctive smell. One of the things that we like to show, can we see this tree here? This is typical Rhode Island tree. It's a white spruce and a favor. Matter of fact, we just this morning, I had some people coming in and say, we want that white spruce that we've had forever and ever. Uh, for newer species of trees, we're going to look at some more this morning, but uh, this white spruce is a kind of a traditional favorite in Rhode Island. One of the most popular species that we have, uh, not only in uh, Rhode Island, but throughout the United States, is the Fraser fir. The Fraser fir is an outstanding tree. The needle retention is ex extremely good. It's very light, stock green in color, and on the bottom side, there's two silver uh, lines that go up the back. This tree will last and last and last. We've had customers who said that they're gonna, this tree will last for actually six to eight weeks. But you must have water. The tree must have water. Now we're gonna discuss just a little bit about what are you gonna do with this tree when you get it home. Remember two things. If you buy it from a farm, you know it's going to be fresh because insist that the tree be cut right in front of you. That is our policy. Every tree here, we cut right in front of the customer so they know the tree is going to be fresh. Now, if you go to a retail lot, one of the first things you should do is pull on the branches. Look at your hand and see if there's any uh, needle retention there. If there's needles on that hand, then you know that you've got a problem with the tree. Shake the tree up and down. One of the things I recommend also is look at the base of the tree. Put your hand on the very bottom of the tree and see if it's got sap on it. If the sap is dried, again, it's an old tree, it's not going to last. But remember, there's a difference between buying a retail lot and buying a Rhode Island fresh cut tree. If you buy it at the retail lot, another thing you must do is cut off an inch or two at the bottom to open up the tissues. Now, just inside the box, there's a tissues that take, it's called the xylem tissues, the xylem and the phloem. The xylem takes the, the, the fluid or the water up into the tree, the phloem takes the water down. That's right inside the bark. So one of the worst things you could do if you have a big tree is take a hatchet or something, a knife, and carve off the bark. If you do that, you're asking for trouble because the tree is not going to take up any water. These trees, and don't be, don't be shocked when the tree will take up as much as a gallon a gallon and a half in the first gallon and a half of water during the first 24 hours because it's fresh cut and it's going to take a lot of water which is excellent as long as the tree is taking water then you can bet that your tree is going to stay fresh it's not going to lose those needles so and the big thing is get a, a sufficient stand don't get one of these little tiny ones that hold a pint of water get one that holds at least two gallons of water because water 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 that's the key but I want you to remember, 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 we don't eat plastic turkeys, and we're not going to have any plastic Santa Clauses coming down our, our chimneys, and we're certainly not going to have plastic Christmas trees. Buy real Rhode Island Christmas trees. Merry Christmas, all. Merry Christmas, Rhode Island. Merry Christmas. See you later.